camera. <laughs> 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 and just, uh, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> no one's watching it right now, so it's good. Cool. We're watching it. We can see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this you crazy <laughs> mother. <laughs> And welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So today I'm going to have a guest on the show and this is a kind of new segment that I'm going to be testing out for the next couple of months, how others use productivity. So I'm going to be joined by Craig today and I'm going to allow Craig to introduce himself. Hi everyone, I'm Craig, I'm an amateur photographer and I'm here today to talk about how I use Trello in my day-to-day -day, day -day work being a photographer and also to promote my brand. As Craig mentioned, we're going to be going over how he uses Trello for photography. So that's going to be quite valuable for anyone out there who is looking to go into the photography field or also just actually want to dabble in that area too. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down to the laptop and we're going to get Craig to guide you around his Trello account. Right everyone, so I'm going to show you now how I use my Trello board um, within the photography. Um, as more of a, a split between a task manager and also a way to promote my brand with a project board, um, combining the two elements that I think are best within within Trello. Um, so on the left hand side of the screen, uh, this sort of side is my task manager. So I've got my upcoming, um, as a football photographer, my upcoming list of matches that I'm going to. Um, and then when I've gone to those games and, and taken the pictures, I can then post the links to the games themselves um, and then I wrote a blog as well about each game so there's the there's the upcoming blogs um, which as you see is, is the same for same as the football matches um, I've also got an upcoming events section um, I'm doing a wedding later this year and also possibly doing a charity event um, and that'll obviously also be, be built up with more events that I'm doing across across 2016 um, a to do area which is sort of like little little jobs to do and then my done list, um, so as you see, I've, I've previously wrote a blog on Trello. Um, also, the last match I went to, uh, as you can see there, I've logged it as done, but also put the link to the to the photography, so uh, I can revisit that later if, if I need to. On the right-hand side of the screen is the, the more project side, um, so ways that I'm implementing and, and progressing my brand. Um, one of my photos is in the Birmingham Mail calendar, and um, so I've taken a sort of screenshot and posted the link to where that was where that was announced. And then one of my photographs is also on sale at Waterstones at the moment uh, in Birmingham City Centre. So again, I've got the I've got the sort of evidence of that. Um, a couple of inspirational photographers that I I follow on on Twitter um, from the Birmingham area. So I've got a link to their one of their photos and also their website. Um, so that's something that I can then use to sort of inspire myself going forward to the level I want to I want to progress to uh, ideal places I want to visit so to do a lot of photography so Edinburgh and, and London are the main two and then my goals going forward obviously being a photographer only since August I'm still in my mind using a, a, a relatively basic camera uh, obviously still getting in great results but eventually I do want to sort of progress to a DSLR um, and I have seen that one, which which I do like the look of. Onto the features of Trello that I enjoy using the most. Uh, obviously, with Trello Gold, you have the ability to more personalise your your boards and use a, a background picture. These are the ones that are pro produced by Trello, but you can upload your own your own custom ones. Uh, I really like the labels element. So if I go into this, or someone else looked at this straight away, uh, they can see that all the football games are purple. The blogs are pink. The events are um, sort of a, a turquoise colour and then anything that's done is green. So there's no real way that anyone can look at that and not sort of understand what is uh, what what each part is. And then the attachment section is really good as well because as I've shown with the, with the photograph, you can actually upload a attachment of not only the picture but also any links that you want to upload as well. For any new for, for any new photographers or existing photographers that one would want to use Trello, um, it's really easy to set up. And as I say, mine is an example of, of how I use my Trello. But you could use this for any projects, any any photo shoots that you're looking to do. And um, the great thing with this is that if you were doing a photo shoot with a, a number of other people, 
or running a training with, with other people or, or a workshop with other people, if they use Trello as well, you can actually link those people in to the board. So you can actually include members um, and then they will actually be able to edit or go into and, and view things on here. So for example, if another photographer was attending the event with myself, they would be able to add a comment um, around anything to do with the anything to do with that event and you could use it as sort of a, a, a networking tool or a social tool um, to sort of liaise with other photographers in that in that sense. What I really like about Trello is the just the ease of access and the ease, ease of use really. Um, as I say with, with these upcoming events once they're done or once any of the football games are done it is a case of just dragging it across to the done box um, it's as simple as that and just, ch just changing the colour of the label um, so you could easily within within a few minutes if you're on the go just update that and um, going on to that I do use Trello and um, use my iPhone 5s so I've got the app for, for Trello and it is pretty much as you see on screen and um, on the on the app so it's the same layout so you're not um, using a different layout and, and sort of being confused by by one layout on screen and, and one layout on the app it is pretty much as you see there uh, in the time that I've been using it um, but the one thing that I would possibly I, I would like to feedback or or if there was any way to implement it in future is I can see obviously see with using the pictures uh, on the on the attachments um, it may I don't know how it would work but it may be worthwhile if for example this this blog um, if there was a picture on that blog whether that could be whether that could be visual as a as a picture as well um rather than the link or similarly um like the flicker the flicker um link whether the album cover could pop up but that that is a sort of a, a very niggly little thing and it's something that that doesn't really hinder the use of trello it's just something that going forward could just make it look a lot more like the other like the other uh, the other cards so that was how a photographer uses trello i want to thank craig for coming in thank and doing myself that's right so I will link Craig's website in the description and also a link to his Twitter as well. And I'll put it across the screen here now. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video. I'm looking forward to doing some more videos like this, uh, bringing in some people in other areas that can talk about how they're using other accounts. So thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Say cheers or something. Cheers. <laughs> Say cheers or something.